Hello everybody, welcome back to Lion Bull Academy. Today we're gonna make a video to what I do every weekend for steady the market and what I gonna do it after that steady uh, the next week. And this is a collection of videos because um, it's not easy to put all this in one video and I want that you really understand perfectly how it is. So let's start with the first part, what I'm doing, what I study, what application I use, this we're gonna do it uh, for the beginning. Gonna be more videos with more information, like you're gonna have a complete picture the what I do it for entering the market, for steady the market and which application I use it. So let's start, let's go to the screen of the PC. Here we are. Okay, first stuff, we go to the trading office. I have my trading office. I will show you also if you want in one video how to use that how to create one trading office like this, very comfortable and cozy. And here I have all my applications, all my links that I use it daily in my study of the market. It's really a lot of information. Don't worry, every one of these I use it for free. Um, only I think I don't use for free Trading Central because you need to have a um, high account, a big account in eToro for that. But for the rest, is everything for free. You can use it uh, freely. They have a pay version, but you can use everything freely. Today, we're going to concentrate in Coifin. It's like a Bloomberg terminal, but free version. Really a must to look in every morning. And the first stuff to look. Then we're going to use Finviz and Investing.com. And the last for reading some news, we're going to use Financial Time. Okay, let's start with Coifin. If you still not subscribe to Goifin, it's for free, I tell you. I have one video, you just write in, in YouTube, Lion Bull Academy, Goifin, uh, okay? And you will see how it's used. And for just writing after in Google, Goifin.com, and you can um, go in this webpage. It's a webpage, it's not an application you need to download. It's everything online. If you have many screens in your office, in your trading office that you start, I advise you to put in one screen always this open because it's a great uh, view of complete market of the entire world. Okay, let's uh, start. What I do it first? First than all, I look in the Nasdaq 100, the SP500 and the Dow Jones here. In the actual year, like this, I know how it's going the market. Like. Mm, the Nasdaq is up a 14%, SP500 is down a 4%, and Dow Jones is down a 9%. This is the first stuff I do it. I look in that this one is still, I have a probability to continue higher. This two looks like start a downtrend. It looks a beginning of a possible downtrend. If we broke this support here, it can be the beginning of a downtrend. So after I see this one, after I look in about how it's going, currencies, how is going the markets, how is going the commodities, how is going the treasury bills from government, the US treasury, how is going the sectors. I look in everything each day, but this is now for the weekends is you make a more uh, important view of all. After you look in all this information and just study what Coifin give it to you, we go directly to the market news. We go in the market news and reading all what we can about the important information for us trading. Like uh, I am trading the American market, do I look in the most American news uh, for American companies? That's what I am doing. And here we have one um, information from Twitter, also interesting to look in. After that, we move to the investing.com. We go in the graphic because it's for free, this graphicator, it's great. And we start first with the SP500, okay? Let's start with the S&P 500. So in the SP500, what I do is I have one move, weighted moving average, W moving average, W M M A, okay, of 150 periods. Uh, if you don't see complete, you just click more. Um, more candles like this, the moving average will show better. So normally this I, this moving average I use for looking if the market is uptrend or downtrend. If it's 
above this uh, moving average is uptrend, if it's below is downtrend. That's one stuff. Uh, second one, I put one Fibonacci from the level zero till the top. That's one of the stuff I do it for find possible supports and resistance to enter in the market. Next one, what I do it is um, put my support and resistance also. And from here, I look in what I do. Actually, we are um, in this part of the market. We can add if we want also a second Fibonacci. For example, from this last here till here, for looking if it's something interesting of enter. Mm, 0 0.50, we have a possible enter here. This is just if you are interested in that one. But okay, for now, let's make simple. Uh, we have this Fibonacci. What do this Fibonacci to us? This show that when we are between the inside of these rectangles in between like in the middle like now it's a, a ground of nobody it's mean there nobody know where is gonna go the market so the best situation in this case is don't do nothing it mean we already know that in the from the stocks in sp500 we're gonna don't trade at the moment have to be really a special occasion like something happened very strong in the market for we choice to trade there but at the moment we ignore it um, if the market will broke below here, we can start looking for next enter in 0 0.38 uh, in the point 0 0.38 of this um, Fibonacci or in 0 0.50 of Fibonacci. That's how we do it. So we see here we don't have nothing to do at the moment, so we ignore it. Um, let's go to Nasdaq. We go to the Nasdaq, and here we can see that this a different picture. The market is very stronger. We are closer to the maximum. We also was make as moving average weighted. It was here was a good point to enter. Then um, we put as Fibonacci, and he show as possible enters in if make a correction. We see here was one correction. We put as um, support and resistance. And we see here that we are close, very close, than a possible break to the resistance. If it's break, it's a great enter for a buy again. Yep, yeah, in maximums, yeah, it's a good enter. Because you say, but how you do that? It's in maximums. You know, every time he broke a new maximums, he always right very stronger. Like you see here, he broke a new maximum and very strong going up. He go down, he broke a new maximum and going up. And like this every time. He broke a new maximum and going very stronger. And like this all the time. And also broke the all-time high. Now we are at all-time high. So here is a great, we, we see that we have a lot of uh, volume enter in the market. Maybe they prepare some cells here. So we will look what's going to happen. But at the moment, he showed you that we still don't do nothing, but we are ready for a possible enter in the stocks inside of the Nasdaq 100 or directly in the ETF of the Nasdaq, in the QQQ at the example. So um, after that, that we already look in this one, we go to Finviz. In Finviz, what we look? We look the top gainers, the top losers, the new highs, then overbought, then usual volume, we all oversold. We need to look in all this one and steady the market for looking if is there a chance that we still can enter in one of these uh, markets and get some profit. Next, we click here and we have a visual way of the market because we are now in the weekend. We will put one week and look in the overall market what is doing in the past week. Oh, sorry. It shows us that um, looks a lot of green, but still difficult to understand where we can enter here. Yeah, you can see like Zoom, maybe Zoom, CBS, we have some possibilities to enter, but really not too much, um, not so comfortable. What I do is put bubble. And here in the bubble, I can see better what is going down and what is going up. Even I can change sectors. Like example, let's put energy. Now I can see 
only the energy markets I can see who are above zero and which one like Oxy was going above zero he make an increase of change from the last week so very interesting to look in and then we have others who are down that maybe we can find a good opportunity to enter in the market so this is what we do it here like okay is down again can be interesting that's what we do it with Mm, Finbis. We write down all the interesting stocks that we will be able to trade with. If there is something interesting to trade, we can show the SP500, we can go to the um, next one, or you can click any, gonna show all the overall market, exactly everything what is here. Also interesting if we are interested to looking for some company that nobody knows. <laughs> so um, let's go back to and like this is how we do it. I just write in all the stocks that for me looks interesting in a paper or in my um, tablet. And after that, I'm gonna be in the next video. I start study that company if it's a possibility to enter when the market show me a right moment to enter because at the moment when the index are in the ground of nobody it's not a good time to enter in stocks or ETF it's better to wait also need to look in the news and for that we go the next to us financial times is a great um, online newspaper about yes finance that you have great information here I really look in all the time and why I chose this one because if you are from eToro you trading in Toro and you are Platinum Plus, you have more than 50,000 invested inside of eToro. eToro will pay for you the Financial Times subscription. Okay, so that's a great to know. And if you still don't have it and you are a Platinum Plus, please just call in your manager in eToro and asking for your worthy subscription in financial time because you deserve it you have a great amount of money there you trust them and you deserve to have rewards for that so that was everything for today next day we're going to continue as um, routine of what i do it each day for steady the market this was what i do in the weekend the beginning of what i do in the weekend next gonna be what i do intraday what i look in inside of the um, of the market and um, that was everything for today so see you next time if you like the video click the like button comment down below you have some question about and also very important and please don't forget subscribe to the channel very important for me so guys see you next time